All right, so we're on day five of my trans tape. Um, it's definitely time for a new application. So we're gonna use the trans tape removal oil and we're gonna go ahead and apply that and completely saturate our tape, make sure that we're removing it safely. Um, something that's also really important is that when you do remove, you're gonna, I'll pull from here and kind of remove in the same direction that I applied. So the big part about that is it kind of helps it to where it just removes a little bit smoother and not so pulling on the skin. Start, um, I usually start towards the middle and we're just gonna drench it. Just completely drench the tape all the way around. We're gonna really be, just liberally apply it. You don't have to use um, our oil, it's not required. It just has a lot more properties in it that can be really helpful for removal. Um, but you can use other kinds of oils that are in your kitchen. Um, that will be a perfect um, substitution if that's what you need. So you see how it's really dark now. It's definitely saturated. I got all the way back here on my side. And um, you can see compared to this one, it's definitely saturated. It's definitely really soaked in there. So we're gonna let this sit for one to three minutes. Um, and while it's sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Um, we've been working out here. We've been getting sweaty and working hard for this event. So I'm definitely, this is real time. This is really what it's like. I can sweat, I can work. I don't have to worry about it coming off unless I'm taking it off. So. That's what we'll do here. We're gonna to switch to this side and do the same thing. So we're gonna kind of start up at the top, kind of keep an eye on the spout where it goes so it kind of can go straight towards the, the um, tape here. And like I said, we're just gonna to totally drench it. We're gonna wait one to three minutes and kind of let it sit in and soak. And what it's gonna do is remove the adhesive even just since we've been sitting here talking i can tell it's starting to release here very easily very just like pulling off you can see it see it's how it's kind of pulling up on my skin i'll wait a little bit longer just a little bit longer and make sure that it pulls up nice and easy because that's where a lot of people get hurt is they don't use the oil to remove it and they peel off this tape and it comes their skin comes with it and it's a very painful process so it's very important to read the manual do our research okay so it looks like we've been waiting here for a good one to three minutes i'm feeling good about this oh yeah we're getting good here now so you see how it's kind of pulling up just you can pour any kind of oil in there and it fills those gaps and then, then it kind of lets it soak in so as you peel back and it gets easier and easier like I said, when you do apply, you add here and then and uh, apply that tension this way. So when you remove, you want to make sure to remove it that way as well. So we're just going to kind of go off to the side here, pull, 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 not too hard. You don't. This should not be painful process. So you see how it's kind of looking a little bit different now. How we've got that line where it's kind of separating. That tells me that I need to use a little bit more oil on this area. And in those grooves, we're just going to kind of drop it in there. Let it do its thing, let it soak around. All the way down. Soaking up there, I mean, you can see how wet this piece of tape is just falling apart. I mean, it's really, it's on day five. We got a little bit of that adhesive left, but we'll take care of that as well. And then we're just gonna rub it in. Wait a second. And this is really kind of knowing your own body when you can kind of, you can feel if it's too I mean, even as we've been soaking this, you can tell it's really still applied on there. So I wanna make sure and get a little bit more. I've been doing this for about three years now, so my skin has really gotten used to apl applying it and removing it, and it's really built up a, a tolerance, but I wanted to make sure to show you how easy it should be to be able to remove all the way off. You can see a little bit of lines there, but the goal is not to have too much raised, like red skin, um, because you want to. We want to be kind to our skin. We want to make sure that we're taking care of it. What's left here is this adhesive. Um, this often happens if you wait five days later than five days. What we're gonna do to get this off? Normally, if I were to just hop in the shower and use my body wash, it comes right off for me. So looks like um, this side's probably definitely ready to be removed. I mean, it just feels so smooth. I don't feel any pain from this. And even if like right now I can tell that as I get closer to my side, it's kind of getting a little more dry. 
So we'll just pop a little bit more in there. Even just wait an extra 15 seconds. If you really exercise that patience, and especially with the removal, you wanna make sure that you're in a good headspace when you do it. You wanna make sure you're in a good relationship with your body for that day, because some days are not as easier as others. And there it goes. Nice, right off and smooth. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to go to transtape.life. Um, and the website, we have a live chat there that we have staff attending to for you to have any kind of order issues or any kind of questions for applying and removing. Also got a YouTube channel, so check that out. I hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you next time.